Anywhere you look, you'll see what Tess Mata loved the most. She wanted to be on TikTok. She wanted to be dancing. This is how Veronica and Jerry Mata remember their 10-year-old daughter. Tess is one of the 21 people killed in the Robb Elementary mass shooting in May 2022. And if we don't come out and speak you know, in front of a camera, um, who else is going to know who Tess was? The Matas met with us hours after the DOJ investigation was released, talking about the law enforcement failures highlighted in the scathing 500-plus page report. They know that they didn't protect our children, and they're going to have to live with that. So it's just, it's, it's hard. It's a hard situation. One day later, a special grand jury of 12 people has been summoned. Their task is to investigate the Robb Elementary School shooting for about six months and present a formal recommendation. If they true build the case, which means at least nine believe that there is an offense, that there's probable cause that this person committed this offense, that creates the indictment, which puts the person before um, district court and starts the district court process. District Attorney Audrey Gossett Lewis explains how they go about finding jury members. You want them to be able to be fair and impartial, right? Um, and so I'm sure that that probably was a challenge for them within, when impaneling this grand jury. Attorney Tim Maloney explains what exactly the jurors are looking for. Yeah, in this um, instance, it's going to be a single issue of whether or not there's any potential criminal liability against any of the responding officers. This investigation is something the Uvalde families have been calling for since May 24th. It, it's been 20 months and we haven't gotten anything yet. Brett Cross lost his son Uzziah Garcia in the mass shooting. He says there needs to be urgency, adding he wasn't notified this would be happening. It's because of persistence and a parent's love that has pushed us to this level. A love which keeps the 21 families fighting for justice for those they lost. And I can see that little by little we're making a difference, you know? I'm Amanda Henderson reporting.